first trick we're going to go through is kickflips. Kickflip is building block for all the other flip tricks so it's important to take your time with it and don't get stressed if it takes a while because it's important to get it down good before you kind of want to move on to all the other ones. So yeah, you just roll up kind of like you're going to do an ollie. Your back foot is pretty much the same as you would do an ollie, but your front foot, your heel is hanging off. And you're going to use your toes to flip the board as you ollie. So you press down with your back foot like you're going to ollie, but instead of dragging your foot up your board, you just kind of use your toes and kick out so it flips. And then you kind of want to jump as you flip it so you can kind of give it room to get over and then just gotta work on your timing to catch it and try to flip it so it levels off in the air so it flips evenly. And that's the basis of a kick flip. So now on to heel flips. You kind of want to go through heel flips before you start with, you know, varial heel flips and uh, backside heel flips and all the other heel flip tricks. Just might want to get it good so the other ones come easier. So you roll up with your uh, back foot just like ollie position pretty much. Front foot just be the opposite of a kick foot so your toes will be hanging off and you're going to flip it with the side of your foot the opposite way of a kick foot. Front foot's just kind of going to go straight up. If you can get it, you know, past your nose, then it'll probably flip better. So you kind of flip it with the side of your foot, you know, more so than the heel. You might have to jump back to kind of land on it at first. Land over the bolts is the goal. And there you have heel flips. Today we're going to go through pop shove -its. This is the trick you use to turn your board around. For regular pop shove -its, your back foot is right in the middle of the tail and your front foot is going to be heels hanging off evenly. Press straight down and a little bit towards you. If you do that too much, it's going to 360, so you basically just press down. The hard part is your board not flipping. It's good to get that one down first. Front shove is kind of a basic one you're going to want to learn for varial heels and hard flips. Back foot is going to be kind of towards the inside middle of your tail, and your front foot is going to be just kind of hanging off up towards the bolts. It's all on your back foot. You just kind of press down like you're going to ollie, but you kind of scoop away so it turns. Your front foot is pretty much going to stay right above the board, almost touching the board the whole time. And there you have Pop Shevitz. Now we're going to do front side flips, which is a popular one. The good thing about front side flips is it stays in front of you, so you can kind of always see what you're doing. I think that's why people like them. You got to have kick lifts pretty good and front side 180s, and then you just combine them. So when you roll up, you're going to have your back foot and combination of a kick flip set up and a front side 180. Your front foot is just going to be in a kick flip spot. You're going to move your shoulders first, like you're going to front side 180, and then your legs will just follow. You should already be kick flipping, but when it's 90, your foot should be completely off the front of the nose. Try to push the board out in front of you. You'll want to try and catch it when it's 90, and then bring it around, and then roll fakie. And there's front side flips. Today is front side heel flips. 
It's a heel flip and a front side 180, so you're going to want to have both of those down. Roll up with your back foot in a front side 180 ollie spot, and your front foot's just going to be in a heel flip position. As you pop, you're going to push your back foot forward so it turns front side 180. At the same time, be heel flipping. Make sure your heel flips go straight off the front of your nose and not off to the side at all. Make sure that it's heel flipped and caught and then the rest just bring around after that. And that's front side heel flips. So backside flips today. Backside flips, backside 180, and a kick flip combined. So make sure you have both of those down. Roll up with your back foot in the ollie position. Front foot, this is gonna be just kind of in a kick flip position. Maybe your toes in a little bit more because it'll come off easier because the board is gonna go away from your foot as the kick flips. As you pop, turn your shoulders backside. Your shoulders and your front foot are going to turn the board. As you kick flip, it's kind of going to be kind of turned. You catch it 90. Turn a little bit more. And that's a backside flip. And now we're on to backside heel flips. It's just a heel flip and a backside 180, so you want to have both of those good. So back foot's going to be in a backside 180 ollie spot. Front foot's just going to be in a heel flip spot. Maybe your toe is hanging off a little less so you get more power. You're going to pop and then you're going to kick your foot in the heel flip spot right off the front of the board. and you should be catching it at 90 and then turning the rest of the way. It's pretty much all going to be done at 90. And that's backside heels. Now I'll take you through varial heels. It's just a front side pop and a heel flip. Keep your front foot in a heel flip spot. Your back foot's just going to be more on the tail, down a little bit and on the inside. Press down and scoop and press out. You're not going to do much with your front foot. It's pretty much just going to be like a front side pop shove it. Once you feel it, kind of catch it and flip the board, then that's when you follow through. And there's veil heels. Now we got inward heels which is a little bit of a harder one. It's just a regular pop, shove it, and a heel flip together. Get both of those cracking. When you roll up, your back foot's just gonna be in like a regular pop, shove it spot, which is kind of towards the middle outer side of the tail. Front foot's just kind of in a heel flip spot. Maybe your toe's hanging off a little bit more to kind of get out of the way faster. So when you pop, you kind of just Press down like you're going to do a regular pop, shove it, and then at the same time just do a heel flip. Your feet are going to maybe cross a little bit, which is cool at first, but you know as time goes on you probably want to limit that one to a minimum. This is a good one for games of skate, so make sure you add that to your bag of tricks. And now we have front side pop shove and kick flips, which are called hard flips. 
when you roll up, your back foot is just going to be in the front side pop shove it spot, and then your front foot is going to be in the kick flip spot, both kind of on the edge there. So you're going to pop like you're going to do front side shove, and at the same time kick flip. It's kind of all on your back foot. Your front foot just kind of stays stationary for a second, so it kind of flips the board as it's doing a front side pop shove it. Then that's when you kick it forward out of the way. And then you just wait for it to come around, catch it, and it's pretty easy once you get it. And finally, the tray flip. So your back foot, your toes hanging off the outside edge of your board, so it kind of grabs it, so it can spin it 360. And then your front foot is just going to be in a normal kick flip position or whatever kind of feels comfortable. As you pop, you're going to grab it with your toes, kind of, and then kick behind you. And then your front foot is just kind of going to kick flip. And then you kind of got to get your timing down, wait for it to come around. Try and catch it with your front foot, wait for your back foot to get on it. If your 60 flips take a long time to get, but once you get a few of them, they become easier. And that's it. <laughs>